Hey guys, I got a new video for you today. And obviously, as you can see by the title, this is going to be on a new knife that I just picked up. And uh, this is the CRKT Notorious. And I want to put this out there. Uh, I'm sorry about my voice. I'm getting over a cold, so if I sound a little hoarse, that's why. So uh, I just want to, you know, give you some uh, specs on this knife. I actually saw this knife on the internet a couple months ago, and I really liked some of the uh, the stuff that I was reading on it. But unfortunately, I didn't find a lot of videos on YouTube about it. So I figured I'd go ahead and pick it up and uh, see for myself. So here we go. Uh, it comes in the standard uh, CRKT box. Again, this is the uh, Notorious, and the model number is 1167. So um, let me just go ahead and show you guys what's in the box here. Obviously, you've got your knife. And the first thing that caught my eye was the, uh, the contrasting colors of the, uh, the stainless steel frame and this uh, CNC machine G10 overlay that they put on it. I thought that was really cool. It gives it a lot of texture, you know, so you have the, uh, the silver and then this kind of grayish, bluish color on top of there. Uh, it's very nice, sleek lines that it has, which is uh, another one of the things that attracted me to it. Uh, it. It definitely rides really comfortable in the pocket because it doesn't take up as much room. Um, it is, you know, uh, it, you know, it, it's part of their, uh, what they call their outburst assistant opening system. So if you like that, you know, the assisted openers, um, this is probably, uh, you know, one to go with. But I do want to touch on a little bit of, about that later on. I'll let you know what I'm, what I'm, what I'm talking about. Uh, the pocket clip is uh, it's pretty nice. It takes up almost half the length of the actual knife, but it does ride a little high. You know, just uh, kind of right about here, so you'll you'll see this much coming out of the uh, knife, uh, out of the pocket. It is uh, only a tip up right-handed carry, so that's pretty much the only option you get. So if you're left-handed or if you like tip down, unfortunately, this is not the knife for you. It comes in at five ounces on the weight, and it's actually a pretty good weight. And what that means is, uh, you know, the weight is relative to the knife itself. So, um, you know, it, it, you know, sometimes you'll get like these really heavy knives, and there's no need for all that weight. But with this one, it's uh, it's just about right. It's got the uh, dual thumb studs here, and that's uh, the opening system. So as you guys can see right there, and they're kind of, you know, kind of pyramid thumb studs, and uh, they're really comfortable. Uh, there's a little bit of a cutout for your uh, for your thumb to go on there. You know, as far as um, through the, uh, through the, um, uh, what do you call it, the frame there. But, uh, you know, you, you get a, a really good purchase. So if you go ahead and open it up, uh, you guys will see the blade here. This is a satin finished blade. And it's got a high hollow ground. So it's a really, really nice slicer. Uh, it's also a modified spear point because it does have a pretty nice belly right here. So that, you know, definitely helps when, uh, when you're cutting. And then it ends in a pretty nice tip right there. Uh, on the top, you'll see a little bit of a thumb ramp, and then you got some jimping there. Uh, it's pretty good, the jimping, I would say. It um, it definitely locks your thumb in there, and the you know the ramp actually does help. Now, this is an 8CR13 MOV uh, steel on the blade. So, obviously, not the best, but not the worst. You know, pretty easy to sharpen, which is nice. And, obviously, this is a, uh, a McGinnis um, design, and then the Notorious, which is the... Uh, you know the model of the knife itself so all in all the um the the total length of this is eight inches when it's open so it's a pretty uh it's got some pretty nice length to it the blade itself is three and a half inches so uh you got a, a you know nice cutting surface on the blade there for uh, any type of everyday carry um you know needs that you would need from the knife itself the uh the g10 is pretty grippy which is nice and it's right up you know up where you need it to be grippy so when you hold on to the knife you know you're not gonna feel that it's going to go anywhere as you're using it the good thing is that it does have the dual thumb stud but because the pocket isn't reversible you know if you did have to use the left one you probably wouldn't be carrying it in your left side anyway so again you know it's a, a little bit more for show in my opinion as far as that goes now i did mention that this was part of the um, outburst assisted opening system and what it is is you would normally see the um you know the the bar back here that would help it with the uh with the opening so uh when i first got this knife you know i tried to open it and it was extremely difficult to open it i mean i, I couldn't open it with one hand i thought it was maybe you know the, the pivot screw you know was really tight so i tried loosening that up and whatnot but you know i just it, it didn't do anything i had to physically start it with one hand and then just do the thumb stud to open it up with the other one if I needed to. And, you know, obviously that kind of defeats the purpose of having the outburst system. So what I had to do is, and I'll show you right here in the box, I had to actually physically remove the bar. This is the bar that you would see and it would actually sit right behind here. And, you know, the bar sits into the uh, backspacer 
and then it contacts the blade right there and then that's what actually gives you the uh, you know the spring action to open it up automatically but um you know what i think in this particular knife being that it has such a nice sleek look to it and you know without the torsion you know the bar back there i'm sorry you know it gives you a nice cleaner look and it is really easy to open you know once you um you know once you got that bar out of there so you know i i figured you know it it, it kind of May, gives it a disservice to have it there and have to use two hands when you can you know, just as easily take it off and you know it's not that big of a deal uh this is also um it, it's going to be a frame lock and what's cool about it is that you know the way that they did it where the g10 sits right there and it almost looks like it would be a liner lock but that's actually the frame and there is you know a little bit of a uh, uh stippling right there so you know your thumb will actually ca catch really nice on there and you could you know you could close it using one hand so it's easy to open with one hand, and then if you need to close with one hand, you can do so as well. So obviously, by way of comparison, I'm going to bring out another knife too, so you can see a little bit of the size. And today, it's going to be the uh, Ontario Rat 1. Uh, I figured as far as looks and size and stuff like that, this was the closest one that I had to it. So obviously, as you guys can see right there, you know that's what it would compare to it. Uh, it is a little bit thinner, obviously, than the, uh, than the Rat 1 there because it doesn't have the... Uh, you know the liners on the inside since it is a frame lock and then you know here it is this one obviously still has the uh the pocket clip situated for tip down and then this one obviously for tip up so it would be like that and then here's the uh you know blade so you guys can see the uh the size of the blade in both of them so actually let me pick it up it'll be easier so you know size pretty similar as far as the blades go obviously the um the rat one is a little bit different shape but you know for the most part these are very similar in uh in size the uh the rat one is actually a little lighter you know even though uh it does have the liners than the uh than the notorious but for the most part it's pretty much the uh the same size now um i would consider this knife uh very you know very much in the role of maybe like an a gentleman's knife it could be used as, as an edc knife as well but just because of the sleek lines and you know just the thin compactness of it i could definitely see you know using this as a gentleman's knife you know to throw it into a pocket because it doesn't have you know it, it's it doesn't scream you know knife when you do open it i don't think you'll get like these weird looks or anything like that and especially since you do have that satin finish uh blade you know on there so um for the most part it's pretty nice i mean it comes razor sharp which was really good out of the box so you know i've i've been carrying it for a couple of days and so far, so good. I mean, I it, it probably wouldn't be my end-all everyday carry knife, so it wouldn't be part of my EDC every day. But, you know, like I said, if maybe I wore some slacks or something like that, I would definitely look at this as, uh, as something to carry for that. So let me know if you guys have any questions, and I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks.